Hey folks, I've been thinking about the main logical operators in the logic of relations. And I want to start by just talking about the concept of a main logical connective in the logic of propositions, because the concept of a main logical operator is going to be just a simple extension of that. And it's a very easy way to identify them in sentences, and I want to show you how. So let's quickly go back to the logic of propositions, and let's think of some examples and how we identify the main logical connective. So, for instance, I might think of a simple example like this. Suppose I have the sentence not P or Q, and you all know how to identify the main logical connective. It, you look, just looking at it, you would know that this is a disjunction. On the other hand, if I write down something like this, not P or not Q, you know that the main logical connective is the negation that's out here on the left. No problem. Let's now try something a little bit more challenging. Let's suppose we consider a more complex sentence, maybe the one that joins these two sentences together in some way. So maybe we have not P or Q, and I'm going to restore the outermost parentheses and then join them with an arrow to not and then P or not Q. And here, uh, again, what we notice is because we got lots of experience with LP, we know that even the way I described it, this is a material conditional joining the two sentences that we had just begun with. So far, everything is good, nothing too tricky. Let's do one more. So let's suppose that we're starting a truth tree and we want to test whether this sentence here is a tautology. Well, no problem. We would start a truth tree with the negation of that sentence. So the negation of that sentence um, is going to be this. I'm going to write it down slowly so that I can show you how to make the negation of that sentence really clearly. So I'm going to write down not P or Q, arrow, not P or not Q, and then I want to negate this whole thing. So I have to put parentheses around it and then put a negation symbol out front. And of course, that's the main logical connective. Notice that knowing the main logical connective is absolutely crucial for knowing what truth tree rule to apply. And we're going to come back to that in just a minute. There's only one other case that we might consider where the logical connective might seem just a tiny bit, bit tricky. And that is, what if we have a sentence like this? Suppose I have not not. P or not Q. And again, we've seen that sentences like this can come up in a truth tree when we're decomposing some other sentence. And here, of course, the main logical connective is the leftmost negation symbol. Now, already we notice there's a pattern here. We have like two separate kinds of cases. On the left, what we have is that the main logical connective in both of these cases is going to be the binary connective that is outside all parentheses. Okay, so in this side, we have the main logical connective is going to be the binary connective outside all parentheses. And on the other side, what we learn is that well, that's one possibility, right? The one possibility is the binary connect the main logical connective is the binary connective outside all parentheses. The other possibility, right? So it's going to be or the only other thing that can happen is that the main logical connective is the leftmost negation symbol outside all parentheses. And these are the only two possibilities.